Hey everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup. We are... we've just arrived in Serebov's realm, the uh, second to last of the great Pandemonium Lords uh, still guarding their runes. Um, we do have a means of getting full fire resist. Unfortunately, I wasn't very lucky last time with uh, mutation gambling. I ended up keeping my minus four strength. Um, but I lost two points of magic resistance, which is actually really unfortunate. Um, we still have four points, so, so in that regard, we're good. I'm going to put on this ring of protection from fire that we picked up in the realm of the of the shining one. Hmm. Right. Oh, and our only our only real option is to equip that over the ring of the present. Yeah, we don't. We shouldn't need cold resist on this floor, and even then, we still have two points left. And um, let's hope we don't need see invisible. Yeah. Oh wait, never mind. We don't have any cold resist, but we do have full negative resist. We do ele uh, have electricity resistance, almost full magic resistance, and full fire resist. That should help a lot. So let's see if we can find that guy quickly. The Balrog didn't care. We have oh, there is another Balrog indeed. As well as these annoying red devils. Oops, let's get rid of that guy and all of his Summon minions. There we go. We have scrolls of magic mapping. Yeah, okay. Let's read one of those. Okay. Um, let's take a look at the map now that we have it unlocked. Right. Obviously, Serebov is going to be in here. I'd be very surprised if he wasn't. Crimson Imps, get out of here. Okay, we got some sleeping Balrogs. Can we one shot them in their sleep? Oh, almost. Pretty close. Okay, Brimstone Fiend is nasty. Oh. It looks in all down here. A little Brimstone Fiend. Okay, good. I would prefer to face uh, Serebov with full health, if we can. I guess, hmm. Maybe it's not in that central chamber. Let's see if we can find something out here. Sure, I guess that works, especially when we just one-shot a freaking Barak. It's no match for me. Hasn't been for a long time. Okay. All kinds of efforts. Okay, translocations up to 24 already. Right, hit points are looking good. We have another wandering Balrog. Okay. Do 
very little damage, thankfully. Six steel tomahawks. Looks like we lost... Oh, seven, actually. Looks like we lost another one. But, I mean, we still have about half the... Um, half the steel tomahawks we started with, so it's not really that bad. Oh, well. Um, we have an artifact ring. We have two unknown books, apparently. Hibernation. Why have I never learned that one? I guess I might as well. There's almost no reason not to. Yes. Um, excruciating wounds. Is that what Flate Ghost use? Yeah. No, it's not. Well, artifact, artifact weapons, right. Freezing Cloud, Bolt of Cloud, uh, Bolt of Cold. Thanks, but no thanks. Read the uh, Incunabulum of Talismans and Changing. For uh, Beast of Dependage, eh. Irradiate Statue Form, Ring of Flames. Actually, Statue Form transforms the caster into a slow but extremely robust stone statue. The caster's melee damage, both unarmed and with weapons, is substantially increased. The caster's stone body is insulated from electricity and gains resistance to poison, rotting, and negative energy. I mean, honestly, that is pretty good. I mean, it makes me slow, but very dangerous to cast, yeah. I'm not planning to use it anytime soon, but might as well have it available. Uh, what? Oh, I did mean to drop it, not read it, but thanks. Compendium of Congealing Calling. Sure. Freeze, Bolt of Cold, Simulacrum, Spellforge, Severter. Thanks, but no thanks. Drop, capital M. S uh, Shimmering Shadow Dragon Scales. Eh, Grand Grimoire. Okay. Let's take a look at that ring. Versus negative, magic resistance, and dex plus four. Hmm. Don't think that's going to cut it versus what I already have. Sure, I don't have full magic resistance right now, but... Uh, I guess I can also just take it with me for now and put it in my stash. We have a scroll of enchant weapon that I can drop. Capital B. I'm really surprised we haven't seen the master of this little abode. Money, spear. Okay. One more treasure chamber left with very little in there. Flame tongue, throw frost, counter flame, and ice form. Nah. Okay, Sarabov. Stop hiding. Okay, we got more sleeping barracks. Oh, and we have a wandering Sarabov. I don't know if he's seen me. No, he's still wandering. Yeah, that's definitely lure these guys out here. Okay, ran it up with full health. There we go. Um, Sarah Buff? Where are you? No, seriously. Oh, what? How did he... Um, can he teleport? <laughs> How did he get past me? Okay, let's see here. Um, a violent and wrathful demon, Serebuff appears as a giant humanoid covered in shining golden armor and wielding a huge twisted sword. Okay, 651 hit points. That's um, 
pretty beefy. High armor class, but low EV. That's nice. Iron shot, okay. Summon greater demons. Abjuration, firestorm, and haste. Right, firestorm is why I want to have fire resistance. I think I'm going to willingly make myself berserk here. Hey, slice and bite him. Nice. I do have uh, sharp teeth. He's moderately wounded already. Okay, that was a firestorm. In fact, why is he confused? Guess he's not seeing me. Huh. Fire vortices dissipate. He's heavily wounded, severely wounded. Okay. Almost dead. Almost dead. Almost dead. Almost dead. Uh, I hit but deal no damage. Okay, that happens a lot. Then I deal more damage. Burns me. And he's dead. Rip. I have negative fire resist, or reduced fire resist from something, but it's still at two points, which is pretty good. Okay, exhausted, slowing down. Fire Vortex is nearby. Yeah, I mean, okay. Cool, that was not so bad at all. The plus six Sword of Cerebov. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm sure that's great. Sure, that's a great sword. Let's see if it really is. Twisted blade covered in eerie flames. Its demonic power burns away some of the fire resistance of those that strike. Oh, okay. Huh, I mean, that goes very well together with the flame effect. Um, the two handed weapon. Ancient artifact. Okay, base damage, I suppose. Eh. Yeah, I mean, it's cool, but I'm not a sword user, and I'm not going to make that switch now. <laughs> so the rune is probably in here, uh, except it isn't. Oh, no, no, there's another chamber. Never mind. Companion of Displacement and Earth. Um, that sounds so familiar. I could have sworn I saw this one before, but I guess not. I mean, I've seen all of those spells before. All right then. Got one final obstacle to overcome. Oh no, never mind. Got that. We have that brimstone fiend as well. Fourteen runes. One more to go, babe. And there's the, our portal out of here. Okay. He did not immediately find the next final Great Lord's Realm, but we did find a huge group of uh, demons, although most of those apparently were only uh, illusions. Um, do we get out of here? I think. I think we do. Okay, once again, just a normal level. This could be the next portal, or we could just use this one. Potion of Curing. Okay, and we're suddenly at low hit points, at very low hit points, in fact. Uh, I should probably... No, it doesn't really matter. So I think... Oh, we do have uh, an unidentified ring. That's right. Electricity, cold, and negative. Also, thanks for reminding me. Random ring we found. Yeah, I mean, I don't think I need that. 
Eh, but I guess, again, I might as well keep it around. Let's put on this one so we can see invisible again. Okay, Hellion comes into view. Another potion of curing is visible. That's nice. Okay. Oh, the brimstone. Stupid brimstone fiend. <sighs> Identify eight rations. Okay, and Oxnall, please just face me already. Okay, I mean that's some mutation that doesn't do anything for me or against me. Um, okay, these aren't that bad. I should be able to make some health back. And in fact, I'm already starting to do just that. There's the Lord as well. I know, I killed him without looking at him. I'm sorry. But I think that at this point we've seen most of the random um, puzzle pieces that can make up these randomly generated um, well, pandemonium lords. <clears throat> sure, I guess I, I'll move on here. Again, it's not the next major realm that we're looking for. Okay, I was gonna take a look in there anyway, because I saw the portal, but, you know, if the Lord's there, all the better. It's already moderately wounded. Almost dead. And he's dead. There we go. Took some damage, but also made a lot, a lot of it back, so that's okay. Another region, right? These Chilean warmongers are surprisingly sturdy compared to most things here. Although that one actually died kind of quickly, so maybe not. Okay. See a rare Deva here. Uh, Inoxinol, you know, not just... Do your thing. I'm out of here. Uh, in fact, I move on. Um, a different region. Oh, you sense a powerful magical presence. It is not pleased. The mighty pandemonium lord, Lom Lebon, resides here. And it guards the final rune, the magical rune of Zod. Let's do it. Smoke demon. Where the hell? Oh, up, all the way up there. You know what? Screw you. 
two can play the game of damaging the other one heavily over a distance, except I can actually kill you with my attacks. Unlike you with your smiting. A wing. Nope. I think this might be the poison guy? So I actually feel pretty confident about this one. In fact, after reading about um, Serebov, I was um, more than a bit worried, but he turned out to be not very dangerous at all. Not nearly as dangerous as I imagined. Actually, what I'm going to do here, because I still have more Scrolls of Magic mapping, I'm going to use that. Take a look at what this looks like. Okay, we got some water, but nothing that actually keeps us from going anywhere, so all right. I mean, it looks pretty. Oh boy, what? Rakshasa wizards, okay. Oops, there's an enemy that I almost didn't see. Oh boy, okay, so we've got some fountains out here which don't do anything. Okay. Let's finish exploring this northern part first. Get that out of the way. So far, this is pretty benign. Uh, wait, what? Oh, that... okay. The orange brain simply creates illusions and sucks away mana. I can live with that. Okay, and this is a royal jelly that I'm going to eat. In fact, I can eat some more. Actually, I didn't even realize I had picked up fruit. Okay. Oops. One day in six, well, 30 hours? Holy shit. That's a long run. Uh, Rakshasa, is there water in that room? There is not, so I can safely fire in there. And there's Lom Laban, who as of yet has not noticed me. Lom Laban, wow, he has a long text. Uh, Demon Lord of Forbidden Knowledge, Stoic and Inscrutable. Lom Lebon is an ancient demon infamous for its mystery uh, for its mastery of magic, rumored to be the most learned being the most learned being in the halls of Pandemonium. It is at times sought out by mortal wizards who offer their souls in exchange for the secrets of the arcane. Lacking the terrible wrath present in most demons, Lom Lebon's single eye instead hides a cold, impartial cruelty. Okay. Hmm. Low AC, medium evasion. Not super high hit points, all things considered. Okay, drain magic if damage is dealt me. Glaciate, major healing, ball lightning, tornado, and blink range. Blink range? Translocates the caster to a location further away from the targeted enemy. Okay. 
but with inside. Okay. Major healing, that's annoying. Glaciate conjures forth a mighty blast of ice. Creatures within its cone-shaped area of effect take damage, with higher damage being dealt to those close to the caster. Hmm. Those hit by the blast are encased in ice, slowing their movement, and those killed by the blast may be frozen into solid blocks of ice. I mean, that doesn't matter if it actually does end up killing me. So there's that. Significant portion of its damage bypasses cold resistance. So it will deal cold damage with that, lightning damage with that, which I do resist. And Tornado is uh, turns the air around the caster into a mighty vortex, doing tremendous damage to everyone caught in it. Those affected will also be swept up into the air and tossed around. Only the Eye of the Storm is a safe place, and it follows the caster. The spell's effectiveness is greatly diminished in closed areas. After the tornado fades, it cannot be called forth again for a short time. Huh. Well. I do have one point of cold resist. But I don't think I can... Ah, uh, well, no, I could... put on that still keeping resist electricity oh yeah I, I have all kinds of sources for resist electricity so okay so I can put on actually I can put on this ring over that one still hasn't seen me yeah now I have full cold resist actually because I got rid of the um, negative effect from the uh, Ring of Fire. So I guess let's open with that. Because why not? He's moderately wounded from a single freaking axe. Okay, I'm encased in ice. I'm frozen. Can I move? I can. And he... What? I fly up to the air. Okay, nice. He's moderately wounded. Heavily wounded balls of lightning. I mean, maybe I can technically dodge these. A swift sphere of uh, corrosating electrical energy. It will explode at the slightest disturbance. I mean, I could do something like this if I really wanted to. Um, God, where is it? Control blink I. It's probably would be good to memorize that and just blink here. <laughs> Okay, those things blew up. He actually lost sight of me. He healed himself. Tried uh, freezing me in place, but it didn't work. Okay, that. Whoa, what? Now he encased me in ice. And he lost sight of me again. Heavily wounded, severely wounded. Okay. Teleported away. Severely wounded. He's not really damaging me, though. So far. Almost dead. Almost dead. Can you please kill him? <sighs> he healed himself again. That's obnoxious. It's nice again. Again, he's almost dead. Just one good hit is all it takes. I mean, slowly but surely, he is wearing me down. That's the, the unfortunate thing. Could you please just land one good hit? That's all I ask. I slice him, I burn him, he's still almost dead. Still almost dead. <sighs> Yield himself. Yeah, himself. Heavily wounded. 
Heavily wounded. Severely wounded, almost dead. He healed himself again. Uh. He actually blinked once again. I honestly can't tell if it's worth trying to uh, get into melee range and melee him. It certainly doesn't feel like I'm dealing more damage like that or until I suddenly land a good hit and finally finish him off. Holy shit. That was probably one of the one of the very few really dangerous single enemies. Individual enemies that I've fought that I fought. Purple Draconian Annihilator. Get out of here. Okay. Oh boy. There's a rune sitting right there. Steel Tomahawks. Five. Yeah. Okay. I pick up the magical rune and feel its power. I've collected all the runes. Now go and win. <laughs> I mean, I'd love to. We'll see about that, though. No idea. Really, I have no idea how difficult the actual orb run is compared to the things I've already done. But um, I'm certainly looking forward to finding out. You know, looking forward and I'm actually being scared to death kind of way. Um, whatever. Let's just get out of here. Actually... I'm stupid, I should have looked for a portal out. In fact, I wonder if it's if it wouldn't be best to just uh, take the next best Abyss portal and just, you know, use that one. Because the Abyss is actually not a big deal at all. If I can ever get out of this mess. Um, okay, that's temporary. Can't even tell uh, which one of these is summoning all the creatures all the time. Also, come to think of it, I don't think I've ever seen a Nagaraja. Magnificent example of Naga. Okay, I guess that makes pen makes sense. Hmm. And that guy is. Real, not summoned. There we go. Okay, so yeah, as I suspected, I know I could have just actually looked at his description, but I felt like that was probably the source of of all these uh, all the summon things. Let's get rid of that guy. <sighs> there we go. Okay. Translocations mastered. Um, transmutations for statue form, I guess. Uh, in fact, is that... That might also be affected by earth magic, which I have much better proficiency. Although, I don't have any transmutation, so I need some levels in that anyway. Nope, nope, nope. No, 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 no. 
There we go. Mm, transmutations increases to level one. Oh, oh, from the experience I just got, I see. So whatever was extra actually carried over. That's cool. Um, right, We're down to five of these. It's a bummer, but what can you do? Yeah, let's just use this one. Okay. Something just immediately it caused me to teleport. Identify sure, a lich. Haven't seen one of those in a while. It's almost nostalgic. <laughs> Glowing orange brain. Didn't I see something here? Well, I sure did, but the problem is enemies don't see me anymore. It's actually sometimes a bit more annoying than helpful, but I guess overall being stealthy is more beneficial than, than it is harmful, for sure. A little, a little bit of an inconvenience occasionally is certainly outweighs the benefits what the hell is that? Oh, the Wretched Star. Right. Okay. Potions of Haste. Very good. Okay. Nice. There we are. And we're out. With all the freaking runes. Hallelujah. Um, and we have plenty of episodes left, so let's go to the Realm of Sod, huh? Or actually, let's return to our lair, possibly for the, for the last time. I don't know, in that case, why I even bother, but, you know. Mm, let's drop a few things. Let's drop those extra rings. Actually, what do we have on now? Oh, we right, I did. I did put that one on. Ouch. Oh, okay. Um. Resist electricity. We have multiple sources. Uh, resist coal. Actually, let's take a look at our resistances right now. I think I want more fire resistance than cold resistance. So I'm probably going to put uh, DDF back on. Right. Two fire resist, one cold resist, full negative resist, electricity, mostly resistant to magic, magical effects. We have clarity what, for what it's worth, and we see invisible and reflect things. All in all, I feel pretty good about that. Stealth is good. Hit points are pretty good. Um, mutations. It's probably worth trying to get rid of the reduced strength. I will use at least a few. Okay, I feel stronger, more energetic, and stronger, so I, we, we should be back at our full strength. A pair of horns grows. And I'm resistant to poisons, which doesn't matter. We still have this um, wand effect thing. We still have our plus one magic resist. And um, yeah, that actually looks pretty good. That one thing is not ideal, but it's it shouldn't affect me very much at all. I mean... Yeah, I don't know. 
one of asset is certainly uh, one of digging is certainly useful. In fact, I wonder if I should just um, preemptively drop um, preemptively recharge some of the useful uh, useful ones. Is the word? Um, let's see here. Magic mapping. Holy word recharging. Yeah, let's use some of those. Recharge the wand of digging, I guess. 18 charges should be okay. Um, acid, I guess. 15 charges, full charges, nice. Um, I don't know, clouds. Eh. Integration, lightning. You know what? Never mind. Am I going to use Ice Blast? Am I going to use Clouds? Last time I used it, it actually only created Poison Clouds. Mm, even at 15 evocation skill, so maybe it needs to be even higher than that. I mean, obviously it needs to be even higher than that for it to create something more useful. Scatter shot, I guess. Uh, I mean, lightning pierces enemies. That seems like it could be useful. Disintegration might be useful because it is hard to resist or can't be resisted at all, I think. Asset to reduce something's armor. Digging to, I don't know, maybe dig into the orb vault or something or make a creative faster, faster path, a shorter path to the actual exit. Or when I have the the ARP with me, that might actually be the the greatest use for a wand of digging. Might even be worth uh, fully charging it just for that purpose alone. I don't know. I can't really see myself using ice blast over just a you know just a normal tomahawk. They should be more damaging. Uh, yeah, I'm not so sure about clouds, but I'm gonna keep it. I mean, maybe poisoning things isn't even a, isn't isn't so bad. Not everything is immune to poison. I mean, really, mostly only undead. Uh, scatter shot disintegration. I don't know. Summoning. I've never used that. Magic mapping. I'm gonna keep. There might not be really be much I want to completely get rid of. Maybe the extra rings, protection from fire, sure. Um, yeah, that one. Resist corrosion I'm going to keep just in case, because I have no other source for that. Ring of Digior, yeah. Hmm. Realm of Zot is in the depths 5, so I'm going to go there. Or actually, let's just go to Zot immediately. Doesn't matter. Okay, 200 Ogre. Zot, 1, and go. All right, uh, Draconians, I remember. And we're right next to lava. That's actually bad. I don't know if there's something that can push me. Death Cob, what even is a Death Cob? A dreadful undead Cob of Maze. Oh, really? A Cob of Maze? Look, this one was probably a mistake. We're sorry. <laughs> okay, at least they admit it. Holy shit. Um, let's destroy it. Um, oh, okay, I was... For a second there, I really didn't see my character, and, and I only noticed that the view shifted, and I was deathly afraid of that something just knocked me down. 
into the lava. Okay. Um, this is actually perfect. It's exactly where I want to be, in fact. Okay, nice. Transmutations. Actually, let's uh, see where my statue form is at 17%, which is good. Which is already pretty good. Um, because my earth magic is already at, a, at an okay level. So this will become pretty useful, pretty usable. Let's see, we have to shift. We have a shifter that's going to teleport me again, unless I kill it. Monk comes into view. Okay, there's a yellow draconian. I forget what exactly they did, but it was annoying. Moth of Wrath. Okay, I was shifted again. I mean, so long as they don't, as they can't teleport me right into lava, which I don't think they can. I'm okay with it. Done waiting. I don't know why I waited in the first place, but there's that. Sleeping white draconian. Nice. So stealthy. So stealthy. I mean, we could we could just um, dash for the exit, but I don't know. Maybe it's worth. Sticking around. The enemies aren't actually all that bad. We do have, we do gain extra potentially useful resources, as well as extra experience for our statue form. I don't know if I really, if I'll really end up using it ever. Oh boy. Why am I here? What am I doing? Okay. Nothing here. And nothing at all here. Lots of moths. Oops, you were not dead. I don't know why I thought he was dead, but that's okay. Scrolls are off recharging. In fact, let us actually max out the one of digging. Just to be prepared. One of ice blast. Nope. Blinking. Very nice. Although. Blinking is unreliable in the realm of Sud. Because, of course, it is. Um, we have all kinds of staircases down, but only the one portal. Okay, I guess. Yeah, that makes perfect sense. So. Yeah, this one is the closest to to the exit portal. How many levels does uh, Zot have? Five. Okay. I mean, we have this staircase here, super close, super nearby. Um, 
So I feel like we should really just use it. Wow. Wait. Oh no, that was that was stupid. That was not a staircase. I mean, it was, but it was a one-way staircase. Yeah, that was not very smart. Let's actually look for a way up and uh, scout out the previous floor correctly. Wow. One shot the sleeping golden dragon and the draconian. Right, just escape hatch on the ceiling. I mean, I guess we might as well. Um, okay, this looks special. What's up with these colorful walls? Translucent stone, okay. Hmm. Okay, that's a normal staircase up. And I was uh, coincidentally just transported here. Yeah, that it clearly says that it's a freaking escape hatch too. Okay. Uh, yeah. So just let's keep looking for closer real stairs. Although I mean. In a cinch. An escape hatch is gonna do the trick just fine. Huh. I mean, I am slightly curious. Okay, here we have a staircase down. There are lots of draconians in here. Okay, statue form 4% failure, that seems pretty good. Maybe I'll g just give that a try against some not-so-threatening enemies. Sure, I mean, might as well. That is... oh, okay. Yep, everything melds into me. Um, wait, what? Okay, my hit points increased. My armor went down, though. I expected it to go up. Oh, also, I didn't see myself because I actually now look like a statue, which makes perfect sense. Okay, this is a Stormy Altar of Kazlal. Okay, the Manual of Incantations that I'm not interested in. It's a Ring of Stealth. Is there a way to... oh yeah, there totally is a way to get there. If I want to. Hmm. Okay, there we go, we transport... Uh, trans form back. Hmm. So this is just a temple of Kazlal, the goddess, uh, goddess or deity, whatever. God or goddess of the uh, Draconians. Yeah, 
Yes, I know. Okay, well, might as well. Um, manual of invocations. Oh, that's invo. Oh, okay, invocations. Yeah, sure. Manual. That's what it does. I don't need invocations though. I'm pretty sure those do not do anything for me. Ring of stealth, yeah. Thanks, but no thanks. Where's the, the monk? What? I don't see him. Oh, he's right next to me. It's so dark. Super dark blue and black. White draconian. Done exploring. Okay, uh, let's see. Do have all kinds of stairs. Hmm... Yeah, but two of the, okay, two of the downstairs are inside the temple. Only one of them is outside. Hmm. I guess we'll try to use this one. Okay, that brings us here. Okay, a little pool of lava enclosed in crystal. And here we ha actually have a staircase super nearby. Level 4, getting extremely close. And I stumbled into a teleport trap. Gotcha. Or even was that okay? Let's make my way. Let's let's make my way. Well, I guess I'm gonna make my way back to uh, where I originally appeared. Scout out the immediate surroundings. We do have a staircase here, which is not super far away. If we can find a, a quick way to connect. Nope, not like here. Not through here. Okay, there's another staircase up. Actually, there is not a connection over to that side from here at all. So we have to go up and around. Let's see. Um, well, that should work nicely. Very nicely. And we're in the final level, right? Is that five? Does it say anything? Hmm. It doesn't mention the, the rune being here. Maybe... We'll see. Read, magic mapping. I have two books. Okay, I didn't realize I picked them up. Airstrike, animated, fireball, summon demon. No, it's a bit too late to start learning any of those, I, I think. It's capital B and capital J. Conjure flame, sticky flame, fireball, and boulder fire. Nope. Drop B and J. Read. Magic mapping. Okay, let's see. Actually, this looks kind of familiar. I wonder. I did not mean to. 
do that. I blundered into a Zod trap. That sucks. But it didn't do anything too bad. Um, yeah, I did not mean to hit whatever I hit there. So I've uh, this shape looks so familiar. I feel like I've seen this before, but I'm pretty sure that my best, my second best character, which is not nowhere near, which was nowhere near as successful as successful, my God, as Frosty is. Um, so yeah, I'm absolutely sure that that character never got to the realm of Zod. Hmm. Okay. There are lots of things here. Brand weapon. Drop that. Mutation. I guess it could still come in handy. Orb Guardians. Uh, so, but I have watched a few Let's Plays of this game some time ago. EV, normal EV, what? Huge glowing four-limbed purple creature with heightened senses created for the orb itself. It guards the orb with enormous punctiliousness punct 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 and violence. Punctil punctiliousness. That's a word I don't know. That's fine, though. Actually, I did not really look at what they can do. Oh, it, because it doesn't tell. Wonderful. Thanks. That's very helpful. <sighs> Stupid Kasparsky. Um, 82 hit points. That's what I really wanted to know. Yeah, fine. I mean, individually, they don't seem to be very hard to kill. But I wonder if... Um, the orb is going to constantly create new ones. I wouldn't be surprised. Visibility, sure. Uh, you are just an arrow trap. Surprisingly harmless. Although, wait, what is this? Um, also, what happened to my poor cursor? Uh, a naturally hard rock wall. Mute with magic that makes it indestructible. Okay, that makes sense. See if I can go the other way around. No, I mean, I guess I'd rather step into a an arrow trap. The trap is out of ammunition. Okay, well, in that case. Okay. Really need to watch my step here. Orb of Fire, another Ancient Lich, what are you? A globe of raw primordial fire capable of impressive pyrotechnics and of twisting the very flesh of creatures who come into its ken. Wonderful. Malmutate, nice. 150 hit points. Um, kill it? My vision blurs, nice. <sighs> okay, those things are... Those things suck. Okay, our fire is destroyed. I mean, they don't ne necessarily deal a lot of damage, but oh, this malmutation is so bad. Ancient liches. Not really much of a problem. Electric Golem. Let's see here. Okay, uh, sometimes Berserk, um, which could be bad. Before grabbing the orb, I'm definitely going to go ahead and um, get rid of mutations. One last time, possibly. An animated film made completely of electricity. How that does even work? Uh, created in some demented wizard's experiment. Okay, lightning bolt, blink. Doesn't seem too bad. 
Killer Clown, please just cease to exist. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Okay, grab this. Pair of gloves. I hear a distant Zot, huh? I mean, not so distant at this point. I found the Orb of Zot. Sure enough. Kill, kill, kill. Alright, I mean, there it is. Okay, no longer slow. <sighs> well, I know the way out, I think. Um, let's see what we can do here. Less resistant to hustle enchantments, that might actually be bad. Um, I mean, it's definitely bad, but you know what I mean. More cam, clever, magical essence no longer linked to my wands. Uh, scales which give me plus two to armor class. Scrolls are a bit slower to read, but, you know, honestly, I'm going to accept this. Here goes nothing. See the freaking Orb of Zod. Pick it up. I should have aborted it, actually. Okay, the Lords of Pandemonium are not amused. Okay, uh, right, another one about, another thing about the Pandemonium Lords that I learned while looking up how Pandemonium even worked is that the special Lords if you, uh, for some reason, do not kill them and before you leave their their respective realms, either because you uh, steal the runes without, you know, and somehow manage to get away from the from the lords protecting them, or you ditch the floor entirely. But uh, any of those major pandemonium lords you leave alive basically will uh, randomly appear during your escape with the orb. So uh, those guys are definitely out of the out of the equation here. Right. Now all I have to do is get back out of the dungeon. No big deal, right? Um nope. Although, I mean honestly, chances are it's going to bring me closer to to the exit at this point. Yep, much closer. I'll gladly take it. Okay, one floor down, got an orb guardian, some hell hogs. Two floors down. Don't even care about that. Pandemonium Lord. Right, this one. Has a bit of a longer path to the exit, but actually not that bad. All things considered. Okay, is that one? Um, right, the portal is there. Actually, not very far to, far away either. Okay, now I don't have the way back memorized. I guess I could just do this, huh? Except, of course. Enemies are pretty much constantly going to appear everywhere. Uh, 
Or maybe not. Torturous Black Sun. I mean, that's just a normal enemy. Strike us back to the dungeon. Yep. And I'm back in the normal dungeon. Is this, is it really this easy? Could it really be this easy? It seems anticlimactic, but I mean, I'm not out yet. I should really not be celebrating yet. <sighs> Holy shit. Uh, six furry, really? Just die already. Dun dun dun. Dungeon one. Uh, Hell Sentinel. Um, G D one. Oh, this goes so fast. Seven. Okay, we got an adder zombie. Um, I might as well take this one manually and this one. Level five. Level four. I mean. Dungeon layout and therefore randomness certainly play a role here. If you just happen to have literally all the stairs right next to each other, then you can probably make the escape without any danger whatsoever. Uh, so far it has been extremely benign. GD1. Uh, what? Last devil. Oh. So you were... Heading for that one. Okay, we might actually see some enemies spawning here. Well, we did see the chaos spawn. Okay, there's a staircase. Dungeon 2. Uh, I see one up there. Carob. Get out of here. Now, where's the exit? <laughs> where is the one freaking exit? It's all the way up there. I mean, what? N not even all the way up there. It's not very far away at all. Are you ready? Are you freaking ready? I know I am. Uh, <laughs> ready to press the wrong button. The final, uh, final input of the game. <sighs> I have escaped. I have indeed escaped. One final look at my inventory. Wow. Jesus. What? What? No! Are you kidding? Hang on a second. Frosty, uh, high scores. I guess it really only showed this at the end, but holy crap. Uh, oh, also. Yeah, so. Uh, good enough. Frosty the Axe Maniac. Level 27, began as a Dwarf Gladiator, and, I mean, also ended as a Dwarf Gladiator, was the champion of Maglub, escaped with the orb, and 15 runes on November 28th. <laughs> From September to November 28th. Wow. Um, 115,000 turns, over 30 hours of, <laughs> of playtime. Uh, what's that even? Uh, 100... No, wait, 14,044,778 points <laughs> uh, versus place two, my uh, Spriggan Enchanter from, I don't know, a long time ago? doesn't even say... Oh, no, wait, it does. Okay. Yeah, that's... Well, that was uh, exactly five years ago. Wow. That lasted pretty long, but yeah. Um, holy shit, I'm never going to have... This good of a run, but I don't need to. I beat the game. For the first time in my life, I actually beat Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup. I never expected this to happen, and I never expected the actual orb run to be one of the easiest parts of the entire experience. I really had this picture, this, this image in my head, of this being super horrible, being constantly assaulted by all kinds of terrible evils, special enemies you never see anywhere else, but I mean, these orb guardians are kind of Kind of laughable, and what else even was there? I mean, I saw a single Pandemonium Lord spawn somewhere, trying to stop me, but that's pretty much it. I mean, phew, Jesus. Yeah, I just don't know what else to say, um, except for thank you so much for watching, for uh, accompanying me and Frosty 
on this crazy, crazy long trip. Um, yeah, I, I guess I'm done playing in DCSS for at least some time. I mean, I've had my fair share at this point. And uh, yeah, this experience will take a moment to, to actually fully sink in. I'm sure I'm going to feel like playing it again. I mean, obviously I will, eventually. But for the foreseeable future, I'm going to be focusing on some other roguelikes in the context of this series here. I might have mentioned it before at some point, but um, next up might be um, Ancient Domains of Mystery, Adom, which I uh, have attempted quite a few times, but never been, um, never had any kind of success whatsoever. So that's going to be a great blind experience with me failing all over the place. Watch, uh, look forward to that. And um, yeah, obviously more Angband variants. Maybe scattered randomly in between Adam sessions. We'll see. But uh, yeah, anyway. Uh, rant over, I suppose. As is this glorious, glorious run. Frosty did very well. He, he uh, well deserves to enjoy his retirement now. His runes and orb. Um, yeah. Again, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this this episode and this entire experience. Uh, if you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment, and I shall see you real soon. Bye-bye.